Saints woke up feeling crazy amazing. Oh, God is just good, honey. See, I can't even talk. It's like, God is just good. We are in little ruts and we find ourselves complaining or venting in a loving and caring way, however you want to present it. God always finds some way to remind you of how blessed you are, honey. Seriously. He's just... Things are looking good. He's gonna look at your fingers as a ladylike, but yeah, he's that type of good. Um, Jared, it was an amazing moment. Um, just seeing him grow and make wise choices and Yesterday, I stopped at my mom's before I went home. Your head band practice was usually drummer for youth. And baseball season started. And you guys know how you feel about baseball, honey. If he's not a medical researcher, he wants to be a baseball player. Well, no, I'm saying that wrong. He wants to be a professional baseball player. Okay. And if he doesn't, get blessed to be a professional baseball player his backup is to be a medical researcher yeah in that order to him but i mean at least he at least he has a backup plan at least he desires to go to college and try to attain to be something anywho there's band practices on tuesday and then churches on wednesday for the youth and um today also there's baseball practice but there's also baseball practice on saturday oh lord thank you for giving me wisdom not to sign you up for two teams this season it's just too much going on and when i get overwhelmed with all the ripping and running because i do all the driving i get very irritable yeah so anyway um So, Jared automatically, well, I'm not going to practice or going playing for youth on Wednesday. I was like, hmm, okay. I said, so God opened up a door that you wanted, desired, and prayed for. And just because something else comes up that you're interested in doing, like, you didn't even give it any thought. You were just like, oh, I'm missing church. Like, that can't be your first instinct. That can't be your first reply. How about, and I say, you're, you know, adults do it too. I've done it. You know, I'm still struggling with doing certain things. But I said, I'm in a place now that, you know, when we go to church, you know, it's not all the extra political stuff how it is in the black church. So that's the freedom and a little piece of noose off my neck that um, I'm grateful to have right now, but that's where balance comes in, naturally and spiritually. Everything can't be church, 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 church. You need to let your hair down. You need to see how it is to have fun, be a kid. However, you prayed for this open door. You prayed for those opportunity. A couple weeks ago at church on Saturday, um, the pastor was, you know, talking about the musicians of the ministry, and me and Jert was in the middle of talking, and he heard it, you know, from the, the sanctuary, and we had, like, TVs throughout the common area, um, the vestibule, or whatever you want to call it, so when he was talking about the musicians of the church, you saw even something leap in Jert's spirit. He was like, I said, mm-hmm. I said, see how your spirit is connected to what's being said in the atmosphere? Because you're like, no, that's me. That's me. And because the pastor was calling for all the musicians to come up on stage. He wanted to do a demonstration and, like, um, proclaim something over them. And Jared was like, I'm going. I said, exactly. And I said, you saw how immediately when you heard something, it connected to your spirit. And you was like, that's me. I'm, I'm a musician in the church. And he just, like, darted off and ran up there. And I said... It's that same concept that you felt that day. You can't throw it away just because you have baseball practice. You know, 
granted, there's going to be some days that, you know, if you have a game or something, um, if you know in advance, you let them know in advance, you know. So I said, just think about it, you know. He, he wasn't mad, but I can tell he wanted me to kind of be on his side and say, well, okay, well, we'll just play next week. I said, remember, you have practice a Saturday, too. Remember, there's two practices this week. It's baseball. Drums is what you love. Um, he likes the organ and organ and piano um, and the drums. And when you were waiting before, before when they were just when he was doing his lessons and they were calling to use them during different programs, you know, he wanted more than that. And I get that. When you want to be a part, be used and things like that. And when a door opened, he was just so excited. So, um, and he said, well, Mom, I can't go to practice tonight anyway because I have too much homework. So, like, kudos to him for recognizing, okay, I got tons of homework. I have to get this homework done. Homework comes first. I was, like, good for you, Jared, in my head. Like, I, I mean, I still, you know, gave him his kudos, but I was a proud mom. And, um... He just kept texting me when I was at my mom's, and I'm like, I'm not giving him the answer he wants to hear. I said, Jared, just think about it. You know, you know, yes, I think you should, at least for this week, I said, because as of right now, there's not a set schedule with practice yet. They have to go around the other teams in the league to see who can get what field first, you know, for availability for practice. And he was like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So my mom's like, I'm so proud of you. Honey, I'm 42, and it's still good. It still feels good to hear my mom tells me that she's proud of me. I was like, hee, hee, hee. Anyway, um, so Jared called me back, and he said, Mom, I'm going to just go. I said, go where? He said, on Wednesday. I said, well, you have two things on Wednesday. He said, I'm going to just go to church. I'm going to go to church and just play. I said, good for you, Jared. I said, I'm very godly proud of you. Seriously. Not just naturally. I said, because this was a spiritual decision. Your growth, learning balance, learning about commitment, appreciating the open doors that God's granted you, the open doors um, and the trust that you've been given even at the church. And, I mean, I couldn't have been more proud. And then he called me back and said, Mom, I got done with my homework at least an hour earlier than I thought. I said, well, call them back. Well, call or text um, the director of the youth and let him know that you'll be there. So, dropped them off. I went, you know, did some errands. Came back, picked them up to go home. And he was like, Mom, guess what? I was like, what? He was like, we're learning new songs. And then we're playing tomorrow like it's just it's just a, it's just an amazing step for him you know he was just excited to be able to learn new music and and I was like mm, I'm such a good mom I rock and he started laughing and I said no I'm proud of you you know as parents we could plant a seed but we're so greedy as parents because we want more for our kids we want to plant it, we want to water it, and we want to give the increase. And sometimes we want to take the credit, you know. So, um, I'm just, I'm just godly proud of my baby. I am. So, yeah. Proud mom moment. Team Jared. Team Jesus, honey. And I'm, I'm, I'm really believing the same for Jalen Janaya. I see Jalen coming around, um. You know, I have to deal with them individually. I really, really, really do. I could have took that. Because these people are like, why don't people drive aggressive in the morning? They know traffic is crazy. All right, I don't want no accidents, my people. 